Hey guys, hello and welcome back to another episode of Hard Knocks Performance. Today, continuing Red Rocket's restoration, we will be removing and replacing the oil pan. While we were working um, underneath, we did notice a large hole on the oil pan, so we're going to be taking care of that today. So, before we go ahead and get started, be sure to hit that like button hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell. That way you are in the loop each and every time that I upload new content. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, step number one is you're gonna wanna drain the oil from the oil pan. So the fastener, it's located right behind. Um, so it's, it's a part of the oil pan. So uh, here we go. All right, as you can see, the majority of the oil has now drained out. So I'm just going to take the fastener and plug it back in. That's good. All right, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is remove these fasteners. I'm gonna try one and see how hard it is, but I might need to soak them in WD-40. Just looking at them, but you never know. You never know. Okay, so we're gonna use a breaker bar to break all of the fasteners free, and then from there I'll go on with the impact gun to remove them. Can you give me like a pry bar, yep. flathead, dead blow, give me, all right, so it's pretty stuck on there, so I'm just going to Just try and get in between the seam here to pry it loose.
little bit. Okay, I don't feel any more fasteners. So there she goes. looking at the oil pan you can see that there's a hole right here I'm not sure how clear that is for the vi for the video but um, you can see it on the opposite side too you can see this large um, rust and the hole being right there and just a lot of pitting and it's typical this car is you know pretty old 18, 18 years old so that's that. We have the gasket. And in this box, we should have the oil pan. Our nice brand new oil pan. They didn't give me brand new fasteners. It's a good thing I kept them. Alright, guys, so before we go ahead and install the new oil pan, we need to do a little bit of prep work. So we want to make sure that there's no residual oil um, that the gasket would be seating on. So we're going to take brake cleaner, spread it along the edge, and just wipe it clean, make sure that it's clean and dry. And then we're going to take our RTV and place a nice bead along the um, middle of the edge. And then we'll place our gasket on top and we'll just let it cure for about 30 minutes. So I'll just go ahead and do that now. Okay, almost done. Right. And the purpose of the RTV isn't to seal it, it's just to make sure that the gasket remains in, in place. So just to hold it together. So now we're gonna take our gasket. And we're gonna place it. Like so. And now we'll just give it about 30 minutes or so just so that the glue cures. All right, so while the gasket is curing on the oil pan, what you're gonna wanna do is remove the RTV from the engine block. And when you're doing so, just make sure that you um, don't score or damage the block because that could result in a leak path. And um, we'll be right back where we started with an oil leak.
Wow. Now that we have that all cleaned up, good for Elizabeth to install the oil pan. Now I know how awkward I looked while being down there, but look, it looks really clean. Nice surface prep. Prep assisted! <laughs> yeah, he's not only the safety captain. All right, we are ready to go ahead and take our brand new gasket with oil pan and pop her in. I'm just gonna hand start a couple of these just to support the gasket. So I'm just gonna secure the outer ones first. She's supposed to be helping and you don't let her help. I'm training her to be a microphone boom operator, but she just wants to <laughs> eat the microphone. Yeah. It's too fluffy. Oh, there she goes. replaced the next thing we're going to do is um, remove and replace the oil filter and um, run the vehicle and just make sure that she doesn't have any leaks guys and this video concludes the red rocket restoration saga before we go ahead and show you red rocket driving off into the sunset um, I just wanted to mention a few things that we also needed to do that we didn't show in this video or in any other videos as a couple viewers have mentioned red rocket does idle very very rough so in order to address this issue, we did go ahead and remove and replace all of the spark plugs. And we also replaced the idle air control valve to um, eliminate this issue. And so far, the feedback that I've got has been really positive and there hasn't been any more concerns with this happening. So um, issue solved. I did want to show you guys what the flooding looked like in the cylinder head, so I'll go ahead and show you guys a picture of that here. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's roll it on over to Red Rocket. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you.